ESPN fired me. After watching my last video and then seeing my haircut at work, they said they've had enough and I feel like I need to prove myself once again. So today I'm predicting every NFL free agency trade and move. All in this one video, all right? I don't have as much time because Derek Carr just signed with the Saints and Geno Smith just signed with the Seahawks. Oh, I gotta go. All right, first player, Daniel Jones. You know, I don't want to get too much into numbers this video. You know, I know I look like a numbers guy. If Daniel Jones, he needs to be arrested for asking for 45 million. If Daniel Jones gets 45 million, I'm quitting YouTube. The road to one most subs ends here, ladies and gentlemen. No more bald hefe. I'm hitting the field, all right? If Daniel Jones gets 45 million, there's a team out there that's willing to pay 2.4 a year for my services. But I think he's gonna stay on the Giants. If not the Giants, the Colts. But guys, throughout this video, we're gonna throw in random players and random predictions here and there just so we can get through all these players. For example, I might just say Jacoby Myers, Patriots, or Carson Wentz, Nepal. Sam Darnold, Saudi Arabia. Gotta be some quick fires, all right? We got a lot of players to get through. Next, 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 next. Derek Henry. Who is apparently getting traded, all right? My boy Ran Carthon. He's destroying this Tennessee Titans. He just told Bud to pre to piss off. He's going to the Ravens, all right? How do I know that? You don't need to know. Well, I got Derek Henry getting traded to the Philadelphia Eagles. They're gonna get rid of Miles Sanders. They don't need him anymore. He's actually gonna go to the Buffalo Bills. And I think with him and Jalen Hurts in the backfield, it's just a matchup nightmare. You know, Philadelphia, they're just, they're just mean. They're like bullying people. Their fans are terrible. You know what I'm saying? Derek Henry, he fits the bill. He fits that culture. You know what I'm saying? So do I. I, I might go play QB for Phil. Orlando Brown. Bears, Devin White, Titans, Bobby Wagner, Cowboys, Levante David, he's going to the Broncos, Eric Kendricks is heading to the Lions. And I said all that just to talk about Mike McClinchney, who is easily one of my most favorite 49ers I've ever seen in the Bay. Man, I, I really hope we can keep Mike McClinchney, man. I, I think I think we're a little priced out of his range somehow. His market value is like 15 million a year. No! I wish John would just make it work, but but you know what? He I think he's gonna go to the Patriots. Patriots need tackle. They like running the ball. Mike Glinchley more of a run blocking right tackle. He'll fit perfectly with Bill Belichick. He probably likes playing for Mac Jones more than Trey Lance. You can interpret that however you want, but let's keep it moving. Next up, we have Saquon Barkley. I got him staying with the Giants. All right, I think they're gonna work out a long-term deal after the franchise tag. I just really cannot see him being on another team. I don't know, I feel like he just suits the Giants so well. But it depends on that lanky, long neck, noodle arm Daniel Jones, whether or not he's gonna get paid. Cause that man is trying to legally rob the Giants right now. Like, I don't know how that's gonna work. But assuming Daniel Jones takes a quote unquote team friendly deal. I'm gonna say Saquon Barkley stays in New York. God, that's such great analysis. Jesse Bates to the Bills. Bills need a safety. I think Jordan Poyer's leaving. He's said on his Instagram live or something. He pretty much wants to go to somewhere that doesn't pay taxes. All right, I think he should go to the Bahamas. Jordan Poyer's gonna be on the Jaguars. Speaking of DBs, we got James Bradbury. Bradbury himself, he's looking to get paid. And a great place to get paid this offseason is the Arizona Cardinals, man. I, I just love moving my head. There's just so much freedom. Maybe why James Bradbury is bald. But uh, Jimmy Ward. Guys, he's heading to the Texans. All right, you heard it here first. He's gonna rejoin D'Amico Ryans. I don't see us retaining him in the bank. So if we want to get into the specifics, you know, he didn't play at his starting position this year. He had to move to the nickel corner because of how well Hufang and Gibson were playing this in the back end of the defense, which is that you can go to the Texas. So you and I can keep in mind. Hopefully he's strong side position. I wish him all the best, except for against us, Jimmy Ward. I love him. Let's move on. Steroid boy. DeAndre Hopkins. All right, ever since he demolished D'Angelo Hall, we've seen him take the league over. All right? Until he started juicing, I think DeAndre Hopkins is somehow, someway gonna end up on the New York Giants. The Giants have been whiffing on receiver for years. With a receiver room that's best player is Isaiah Hodgins. You need someone like D-Hop to come in and show him the ways. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he can give Galladay some of that juice. Jameis Winston, Chiefs. If you guys watch all my football content, you'll know I'm, I'm the biggest Jameis Winston fan. I'm still eating W's. All right, whenever I eat crab legs, I think of him. I love his talent. All right, I think he needs to go to a team like the Kansas City Chiefs. Could you imagine Winston? Under Mahomes, Just learning, taking in that knowledge. Imagine Mahomes brings them to like the AFC Championship game. All of a sudden, let's just say he gets rocked by Trey Hendrickson and, and has a mild concussion. And then you see Jameis trotting onto the field, getting ready to command the offense. All right, not throwing to Travis Kelsey. Straight deep balls to Canarius Tony and MVS. I need that juice. I, I need it. I need to see it. All right, another thing I need to see. Jimmy G on the Raiders. All right, before we get into this, ladies and gentlemen at home, wherever you're watching this, please get on one knee. I need everyone to pay their respects. It's Jimmy Garoppolo, Jimmy Garoppolo, Jimmy Garoppolo, Jose Garoppolo. We're saving the 49ers franchise. All right, please, can we have a moment of silence?
But Jose, I got him going to the Las Vegas Raiders. I think this makes the most sense because they have Josh McDaniels was with him when you know they were in New England together and he was behind Brady. He's the best handoff form in the entire NFL. All right, Josh Jacobs, your feasting, who I think is also staying on the Raiders. All right, he's gonna eat off of those crispy Jimmy Garoppolo handoffs. All right, those little end arounds too. To Hunter Renfro. All right, don't forget it. All right, Darren Waller, you're not getting the ball. Devontae Adams are getting overthrown twice again. Raiders fans, I'm telling you, you just gotta get used to it. You gotta live with it. He's gonna be streaky, but he's gonna be good enough. Can you tell us some receivers? All right, Robert Woods. Cowboys, Sterling Shepard, Chiefs. Like I said earlier, Jacoby Myers to the Patriots. Uh, I'm not really sure how he's staying there with this play. I, I don't know how he hasn't died out there yet. I, I'm not sure. He's Matt Jones' favorite target, so I think New England's going to prioritize extending him in the offseason. I also got McCole Hardman leaving the Chiefs, going to the Falcons, getting some money. And I got Allen Robinson to the Ravens. All right, this one makes the most sense to me. Honestly, out of all of them, I'm most confident on this one, all right? Because the Ravens, like Eric the Costa, that man, I don't think he like knows what a wide receiver is. He does not know how to evaluate wide receivers. So I think they'll pick his trash ass up. Because if we're being honest, Allen Robinson, he's an XFL player. Next up, we have the lesbian, Jalen Ramsey, who's reportedly being shopped around on the trade market. I was thinking about maybe back to the Jaguars, a little reunion. But I don't know why, man. I I'm trending towards Las Vegas. The Raiders, man. I think Mark Davis, he just goes all out. Send some picks, you know what I'm saying? Clear some cap for the Rams. Pick up Jalen Ramsey, a bona fide number one corner. That one's a hard one, though. Let me know where you guys think Jalen Jalen Ramsey doesn't go. Javon Hargrave, Texans. Draymond Jones, Browns. He's from Cleveland. Don't ask me how I know that, but he's from Cleveland. I got Leonard Fournette heading to the New Orleans Saints. First of all, he stays in the division, so he gets to play the Bucks twice a year. He went to LSU, so he's used to, you know, the New Orleans, Louisiana area. And I think Alvin Kamara might be suspended for a year for, you know... You know, you know what I'm saying? So I think Leonard Fournette heads to the Saints maybe on a one-year, maybe two-year rental. But here we go. All right. Aaron Rodgers. I think he is going to head to the Washington Commanders. Now listen, I know this isn't a popular opinion, but this is just pure insider information that I am hearing from sources that I cannot name, but are very reliable sources, all right? The problem with Aaron Rodgers is the amount that he's getting paid, all right? It's the cap hit that comes with Aaron Rodgers. The NFL teams, they restructure deals. They'll find a way to make it work, all right? They finagle their way to get players on their team in Washington. They would be a team that would eat up Aaron Rodgers' salary. They, they just would be. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Washington Commanders overpaid to get Aaron Rodgers. But him with McLaurin and Jahan Dawson, Eric the Enemy, new offensive coordinator, man, I think he can make it work. But last but not least, we have the main man himself, Lamar Jackson. But before we get into Lamar Jackson, Dalton Schultz to the Colts, Tremaine Edmonds to the Vikings. But here we go, Lamar Jackson. I have heard from my sources that he is coming home to the Miami Dolphins. Besides the fact that Lamar is from Miami, the Florida boy, all right, he loves Gators. He, he, he loves uh, Kodak Black. I like Kodak Black too, but it's more from a Dolphins perspective. What I mean by that is Tua Tagovailoa. They still haven't made a decision on him yet. I think their GM, Chris Greer, has had a very aggressive trade approach history. Kind of similar to Howie Roseman. Picking up Tyreek Hill, picking up Bradley Chubb, signing Teron Armstead in the offseason. He's been very, very, very aggressive, applying a lot of pressure. And with, with Tua CTE, I think they can look to move off of him. Now with the Ravens, though, it's sounding like they might tag him, but like, bro, that's so lame. I could see him holding out and not playing. I mean, they're just a completely different team without him. But let me know what you guys think about today's video, man. Leave in the comments down below how many of these predictions do you think I'm gonna get right, all right? I might have to react to this after free agency is all over. To let you guys know that I told you so, all right? Bold Hefe, we out.